So, bottom boat, 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 Excellent. That was great. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that was maybe the best one yet. Uh, stiff competition, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. Matt, what's up? Before we get started, okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm getting out of this podcast. I'm getting what? out of here. You can stay. You can die. But that dude over there is not real. He's not and real. I'm getting out of here. You're out. I'm out. He's out. You don't know? try to stop me. Okay, I mean, but hold on, hold on, wait, hold on. I know you said don't try, but I'm going to try because, Paul, I'm going to blow your mind right now. I know that that dude over there, that plane, he ain't real, but that's because none of this shit's real. Tell that to TikTok. Oh, yeah, I will tell that to TikTok. TikTok, he might not be real because none of this is real. Although I will say TikTok, first of all, the, the thing on the plane, if you are looking for reptilians, uh, let me know. Hit me up. It's at Arson Club KC. Uh, as many people know, I'm a snake, and I know all of the reptilian secrets. I know all the people. I'm going to out people. I got the list. Like that who's, the, who's the number one <laughs> reptilian? The number one reptilian on Earth right now? Mm -hmm. Elon Musk. Ooh. Elon Musk. Yeah. yeah his, but... his parents actually never had a child. They traded a lot of emeralds to a reptilian species that was coming through earth yeah they blood landed. emeralds yeah they landed and the aliens mm -hmm. needed the blood emeralds for fuel for their spaceship and boom how do you think he has all this technology where do you think he's trying to go he's trying to go back home he's trying to go back that, home wow yeah yeah that's what that i'm is, saying you're blowing my mind that is <laughs> I don't even, that is not even hard to believe, actually. Yeah, though. yeah, you know, I'm just saying. Uh, as a reptilian myself, I, I can see all the characteristics. The, why do you think you can't pronounce his children's names? It's not, those aren't like math equations or anything. That's, that's parcel tongue. <laughs> that's tongue. fucking parcel tongue. Parcel yeah. tongue? Uh-huh. Literally, his child's name is what you have to say to get into the chamber of secrets. <laughs> <laughs> I know, what was his child's name? How do you, how do you pronounce it? Yeah. Yeah. Come on into the <laughs> Chamber of Secrets. I don't know what that. I know, I've never I know seen you've never seen Harry Potter. Harry but, Potter, but <laughs> parcel tongue is snake language. So, uh, so today we're getting deep. We're getting deep, not just with the reptilian people, but with the entire universe. Yes, some people aren't real, but perhaps all people aren't real. Maybe what we're living in right now is just a simulation. So we're going to talk about simulation theory and. I don't know. Let's just let's just talk. Do you ever feel like stuff's just not real? Like, do you feel like you're all, in, a, in a computer all the time? Yeah, all the time. My, uh, like my entire childhood. Yeah. That I barely remember. I did, like I distinct I distinctly remember my mom catching a possum. Sure. Yeah. In a cage and like making me uh, keep it as a pet, uh -huh. and then I would have to. It would it. In in general, possums, you as, you assume they're supposed to play possum, right? Sure, they're supposed they to would like act ah, dead. Yeah. yeah, this one this one just hissed, <laughs> hissed at you, <laughs> as I fed it hot dogs. Uh huh. Yeah, and then I had to I did that for like a week, yeah. and then uh, and then just he gone? got smarter somehow. Oh. Ooh, maybe that was assimilation, and he was able to. He figured out how to get out of the he cage. He leveled up. Yeah, and he was just gone. You gave him too many of those hot. Maybe dogs. he wasn't there in the first place. Uh huh. I'm with you. I'm following. And my mom was simulating me. Is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> you got incepted in this. Maybe your mom's one of the programmers, and she like I don't know. That's... She bought a little. A little uh, possum pet DLC. <laughs> That's not good for the world. <laughs> I mean, but I do. I feel like stuff's not real all the time. Not just like weird side quests, because I do feel like that happens. You have like these weird side moments that feel so important while you're in them, and then once you're out of them, they're just like this blip in your mind that you maybe remember two or three things from. But like, 
I don't know, sometimes everything just feels so crazy. You're just talking to someone, for example. Like, I'm talking to Amber, and Led Zeppelin comes up, and the next thing I know, I'm watching a movie where Led Zeppelin is playing in the background, and then a news article pops up, and someone from Led Zeppelin died. That is not real news, first of all. I have no idea who in Led Zeppelin's still alive. I think some of them are dead. But I'm just saying, like... The universe seems to, like, repeat things, right? And I feel like the repetition is what's mm. starting to show the seams for me. Like, AI's lazy. To break through? Yeah, AI's lazy. I was talking to an AI engineer at work just yesterday, and he said, AI will take from the first thing it can pull from. So if we're just in a simulation, right. it makes sense that all this stuff just serendipitously starts showing back up because it's just pulling from the first thing it got. But bef I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm diving too deep too early. That makes sense. I mean, it does. It does. But let's 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 pull it back out. Let's tell yeah, people what we're talking about. Simulation theory. In case you don't know, Wiki calls it simulation hypothesis. I think that sounds way more boring. <laughs> hypothesis. <laughs> you get fucking kicked in the ass for saying that shit like get in your locker bitch it's a simulation theory sounds cool <laughs> <laughs> but anyways this is this idea that reality that all of this that we're in is a simulation that's it like that this our first life is actually more like second life like we are the sims so it's kind of like you know cats that's a program your nana that's a program honey nut cheerios that's a program Ooh, i I can. I mean, I'm cool with Honey Nut Cheerios, but not Grape Nuts. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Literally. Grape Nuts. Who? I want to know who's playing this game. Why did you download some of this DLC? Like, why the fuck do I have mosquitoes biting my ass in my backyard every night? What was that for? You just why? What? What, what was this last story arc we just finished in America? Maybe because that was, was not good. That wasn't fun. Do a play a fun one. God. But no, it's like in this theory too, though. Like, we're just part of the program, right? And I feel like that's that's the thing that stretches people out, because you lose control. It makes you feel like you're not in control anymore. Like most of these thought processes and thought theories, I think that's what people get scared of, right? Because the only worldview we have is the one that we can perceive built inside of us, and instead, this all hinges on us being incredibly unimportant. This all hinges on us potentially being just a piece of a program that's been run a trillion times over by a trillion different people. Yeah, and whenever you think about it, uh -huh. it makes your head hurt. It does, right? Yeah, every time, when, whenever you said we were going to do this, I, I was like, <laughs> I did not, I was like, I don't believe this shit. What are you talking about? This is mm -hmm. stupid. I don't believe it, but I'll do it. Sure, and then I right. started thinking about it and then it put me down one freaking rabbit hole then i started thinking about that and then i was like well what about this why would what's the purpose of that and then it put me down another rabbit and, hole and, and i was like oh my what's happening here my head is hurting and i'm starting to believe this shit and and paul is pulling the term rabbit hole just out himself like this he he's, he's never seen the matrix he doesn't even know that I've that's like not tied. seen the Matrix. He doesn't even know that, I, that follow the white rabbit is like a big thing from the Matrix and follow oh, down the, the rabbit. Deal? Yeah, you're you're through the Looking Glass now, Paul. Yeah, you're mine's from the original. Well, yeah. version of Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, through yeah Alice in mm -hmm. Wonderland. I want to see a Alice in Wonderland Mad Max crossover. Alice in Thunderland. Ooh, Ooh. yeah, freaking uh, Mel Gibson just wearing a big yeah. tall. He, hat. Uh huh. He went. Mad Max went. Went. Became the Mad Hatter. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the Mad Maxer. <laughs> so okay. So literally, the theory. It was. It was popularized by a guy named Nick Bostrom. Uh. But not everyone is on I, board. Like. Well, okay. I, I looked up that guy. You did. Okay. I let's looked hear up about the Nick Bostrom guy, and if anyone is going to get you to believe in. Uh, uh huh. Simulation theory. That's the guy. It's that guy. Okay. Because I took like four of his uh, uh, videos recordings, and I replaced uh, Laura's uh, uh, nighttime uh, <laughs> uh, white noise thing that she uh -huh. has. She was asleep in like eight seconds. <laughs> eight seconds. Yeah, that dude's definitely a, a robot. <laughs> 
So his talking is essentially better than white noise. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's great. Yeah, I mean, he's if, if someone's gonna pick out a robot, it's gonna be a guy like that. Like, exactly. Yeah. It's his. Uh... <laughs> so so Nick Bostrom, C three PO in person, uh, came up with simulation theory. A, a a a person who feels like a non player character himself <laughs> came up yeah. with it, and he looks so... like Colonel Clink. I, mean, I don't know if that's. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know what you're saying. I yeah, think, I know. I, it's, like that's, that's yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, like, yeah, I feel like that makes so much sense. If he if he feels like a robot and he kind of feels NPC-y, now we're looking at Free Guy, right? This is just Ryan Reynolds in the video game breaking out. The guy who's been walking around all this time, he's just supposed to be a scientist, and suddenly realizes it's what's going on and tries to tell us all. But we got... We got other people. Theoretical physicist Sabine Hassenfielder called it pseudoscience. Oh, Ooh, that sounds oh, spicy. Hassenfield. That sounds Come on, Hassenfield. I if I called someone a fucking pseudo comedian, yeah. they're not gonna, I don't have very many comedian friends anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh I did see that too. The Nick dude, the robot guy, yeah. he was also uh, apparently he was uh, big on the London uh uh, stand-up comedy scene, apparently. <laughs> so, I saw that. So if anything <laughs> lends validity to, to a philosophical theory, yeah. it's that it came from a stand-up mm -hmm. comic. Uh, another guy who hates it, we got cosmologist George F.R. Ellis. And here's what he mm. says about Bunch of initials. the hypothesis. Uh, he says it's totally impractical. Uh, mm. From a technical viewpoint, and I get that, right? Uh, he says that a pro that protagonist seems to have confused science fiction with science, burn, and late night got pub him. discussion is not a viable Ooh. theory. Oh yeah, so this guy he got pedantic, he mm -hmm. was talking down, he was patron, he nailed it. He earned every letter in that PhD just with his rebuttal to the simple mm -hmm. idea. <laughs> he is mad because he got named after a 1970s. <laughs> A uh, freaking puppet show, <laughs> right? HR puppet. HR. <laughs> I just forgot. I'm just going to make only old people references. I thought you were going to say he was like going to be like a like a 1920s oil baron, George F. R. Ellis. Like that sounds like a guy who talks in a transatlantic accent. Like news coming in from the west. <laughs> My straw will drink your milkshake. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. So, I mean, so getting that out of the way early, right? Tons of people, they're no fun at all. They shoot it down immediately because entertaining thought experiments are fun, and most scientists are not fun. Neil deGrasse Tyson entertained the theory because he's a very fun man who also loves to poo-poo on a lot of fun things, but I think that's also for fun for him. He's a, he's a, he's a petty little guy. But also, if you knock down theories, right? Yeah. It doesn't automatically that mean that you're... Not uh, even going to allow for that to be a possibility, so you can't really examine yeah, like, other stuff if you don't, right? And I know that makes it tough, because how do you test this, right? You, there's not right. like great ways to do that, and so it's one of those things where, as of right now, where we are, it's philosophy and not science, because there's not a way to put it to an experiment. Like, what? Current tech probably is the reason most people don't believe in this, is what I would say. Like, I look at... <laughs> I look at putting on a MetaQuest 2, uh, which isn't a client anymore, so I'm fine to say this, and it kind of looks not too great. You got a little fucking floaty booty oh, boy right? with no fucking legs mm -hmm. running around a world that looks like it could have been on my Nintendo GameCube, and this is what the billionaires can come out with, let alone what anyone else is trying to do. So it's like, I get why people doubt it. They're like, how, how are we ever going to reach that stage if this is what we're at? But, to counteract that, I would say, if you went back in time and saw a caveman yeah. and showed him a Furby, mm -hmm. he's not going to sit there and talk to it and teach it cute little phrases. He's going to club that bitch and cook it up. Yeah. So The Furby. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, we're, yeah. we're, as far as we know, we're just cavemen with a fucking Furby, and we have no idea what's actually possible. Like, if you're going to program a simulation... Are you going to program it and let them continue to program simulations? I mean, probably. And then it's just going to get deeper and deeper and deeper. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of what you were talking about just then. Jeez. Okay, so... 
I, we were just watching the Alone show. Okay. Where uh, they put people out in the wilderness, and you and it's a like a frozen tundra, and you've got to survive. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, I thought they're. Look, yeah, they will. Those dudes will eat anything. Yeah. Oh so, yeah, you're by yourself. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, they'll eat a Furby. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> you're, you're absolutely right. Yeah, they will fucking eat a Furby. They'll eat a Furby. The one dude licking a beaver brain. I don't even know. Like it was a popsicle. I don't. I've seen that video. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I mean that makes sense though. Like you starve enough, you're gonna eat anything. And a caveman, I mean, would for sure eat a Furby. That thing looked... They, I mean, and they'd see, they'd be seeing colors they'd never seen before, too. This half day glow, fucking half brown little... It looks like a little fucking fat-ass bird. It probably looks delicious. Yeah, I, know, I never had a Furby, but... I've never eaten one. I've owned many. Uh, I own one now. They look eatable. Two. Yeah, sure. Edible. I've licked one. I don't know why, yeah. <laughs> but hey, you know, listen, sometimes I didn't mean- sometimes we get a little drunk and we lick a Furby. I don't know. So, I mean, but the thing about current tech and everything is this isn't a new idea. Like, we're, we're applying this idea to the technology we know about. Like, we know about VR and the metaverse and how shitty that looks, but we're like, yeah, but maybe this is a super advanced version of that. Where it was when it was the Greeks or the Aztecs or whatever, for them, the idea was like maybe reality was just a moving picture book. Like, maybe we're all just in this 2D painting from an artist's mind and God was the artist and we we're just living out the artistic work. So, you know, that's just how they could perceive the idea of a simulation. So that means to me that these people probably felt the way we feel about stuff, but the only th- words they had for it were like the paintings and stuff instead of computers or whatever. Tech part of it. It's not up to there. We're not to there. Yeah, yeah we're not. Yeah. But also, we just got freaking what? iPhones like less than 15 years ago? Literally, yeah. I mean, okay, I was working at Circuit City when the first iPod came out. Like that, and yeah. you talk about the first iPod, and that feels so ancient right now. And that would have been what two thousand six, two thousand seven, yeah. somewhere in there. That's not that long ago. When I went to uh, in college, uh, I took a computer class. Yeah, we did freaking. It was all like DOS, a word yeah. perfect thing. It was all like green, like. Uh, like you're doing the freaking uh, trail. With, you're doing Oregon Trail. Uh, Oregon oh, yeah. Trail. You're getting the on dysentery, there. baby. On there, yeah. Same color stuff. Hunting the buffalo. Yeah. And Ford that was the me river. in college. That was the college course they were teaching. Yeah. And that was like 1992. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that would have been... Yeah, that's about the time I was yeah. I was playing Oregon Trail in uh, probably first grade at that time. So that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What a lot of people don't know is Paul uh, was was consulted uh, when they made Oregon Trail to for accuracy because mm-hmm. he's one of the last people yeah. to have actually traveled the trail. Um, How does dysentery feel? Well, <laughs> let me well, tell you, <laughs> it sucks. It's shitty. No, but I mean that is crazy though. Like I remember those computers it, too. The, I remember you it know, has gone so quick, so it's fast. Stupid. My phone, my. My phone that I used was like freaking. I had a goddamn. Oh yeah, I had the rotary. I had, I had a that. party line or some shit where I, if I got on the oh, phone, yeah, I would have to like talk Lassie. to some. I would have to talk to somebody else and freaking. I mean, like, I feel like hey, it would. Have, a... It has to be so confusing for kids turning on those old shows and seeing that where they're like, "Hey, buddy, get off the phone!" And it's like that. But you had one of those. Yeah, I did. Yeah, and then a freaking had to dial crap with the rotary thing and stuff. I mean, oh, yeah. The worst on the rotary was when they would they would do the fucking word, and so you're sitting there trying to read it, and then you're like, "Are you kidding me?" Nine. You have to wait till it goes back. Nine. Yeah. Oh man. Six four eight 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 was Pizza Hut delivery, uh, at, and eight was far too far on the rotary dial. I did order pizza <laughs> with a rotary phone a few times, and let me tell you. So oh. it's gone quick, man. I mean, it's been it's, so quick. I mean, even, but everything, right? The car was just in the early 1900s. We're just now in the early 2000s. We're like 100 years from humans being able to fly, and we're going to fucking Mars. Like, it's going so, so fast that it's so hard. You can't just, you just can't dismiss it, right? Yeah. How could you, you not believe that it's going to be a point where it's going to... Like, I know we get Uncanny Valley when we see this shit, but, like, I don't know. 
I, I just, here's my thing. If we're going to make this be a simulation and be a video game, at least, like, give me a little more autonomy. Like, make it fucking Skyrim, right? Where I can quick save and I can go and I could, like, like I went to Dolly Parton a few years ago and the Westboro bitches were out there doing the protest. Like, let me quick save. Let me go over. Let me sucker punch this dude. Let it feel good. And then, boop, load it back up. Reset, never never did it, it. Never did it, but I know I did it. Like, give me access to... And then you could, like, have save files to different moments in your life that you could go back and relive, right? Like, you could have a save file of, like, the first time you met your wife or, like, you know, like, a crazy party you went to. Or, like, you could just relive all sorts of cool shit. If I had to reset, I would reset that corn dog thing. What, uh, what's that now, Paul? Uh, what corn dog? Thing? Oh, you don't. You don't. Uh, maybe I reset it. Oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. no, he did not. Uh, so everyone, Paul has decided that you should know because uh, <laughs> he knew I would do this. Uh, his name is Corn Dog Paul. Uh, oh, I didn't. That's not the corn dog thing I was talking about. Oh, what? but I don't like that one either. I oh, should my... reset that. <laughs> Too late. His name is Corn Dog <laughs> Paul because we were messing around with. One day and we were all like i think we had taken an edible maybe i don't remember we were definitely inebriated because I, I definitely still drank back then so we were definitely fucked up in one way or another but we were just shooting the shit and we we're giving ourselves food names right and i'm pretty sure i was like mustard matt and i don't think paul caught on to the alliteration thing and he was just trying to go with mustard so he goes ah i'll be corn dog paul but we were all trying to do, like, an alliteration. It was, like, Casey Corn, Mustard Matt, and Paul's like, no, I'm C Corn Dog Paul. And so now he's got, like, ten T-shirts that people have made him that say Corn Dog on it. I don't remember <laughs> it going down quite like that. I, but... I'm sure you don't. This is a simulation. We probably both got fed different code. Ah, man, I think you're freaking gaslighting me right now. Right, a little there's bit. No... Oh, man. What do you remember? I remember. <laughs> this is what I remember. Okay. Because I, I, I was fucked up, remember, so I probably don't remember I was, right. I had just came back from a, a, a pub crawl. Ooh, yeah. I was in a shark suit. Ooh, yeah, that sounds right. I remember is that. Is that right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. I was in you, a you looked like Katy Perry. Shark you were le like left shark <laughs> from that Super Bowl. Yeah, I was doing Shark Week. And then I, I came back from this pub crawl. and then it's Shark Week right now. This is oh, yeah. very serendipitous. Oh, my God. I know. Simulation, baby. Oh, anyway, fuck. he was a pub week. Wow. Yeah, and then it came in, and then somebody just dropped me off because I could not oh. drive. There was no drive, so I just I got dropped off at, and everybody's there, and then I think I wanted a corn dog. I just wanted a corn dog. I was <laughs> hungry. Not at all. And then I was like, <laughs> and they're like, you want a corn dog? I'm corn dog Paul. He's like, you want a corn dog? Paul. Like, yeah, I want a. Corn dog Paul. I, then I, said, I accidentally said Paul. I think then Corn dog oh. Paul. So then I became Corn dog Paul. I mean, that's a better story. I like that one more. Yeah. I think that's funny. God. I think I was drunk and I just kept calling yeah, myself I, Corn dog Paul. You were definitely drunk. Yeah, somebody was... called me Corn dog Paul, and then I just kept calling myself Corn dog Paul. It was pretty great. God. And he's. But what was your Corn dog thing? I'm re I'm erasing all Corn dog <laughs> related material from my life um, if we get I'm a redo. The only thing I remember is the God the the murder mystery with the corn dogs. There's no more murder mystery. Oh, oh yeah, we oh, did, oh, oh, uh, yeah, that yeah. was a comedy show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's all. I, uh, hmm. oh, now geez. I'm gonna if I figure it out, I'm gonna post it. But <laughs> you're not gonna be able to because I've already he's freaking, deleted it from the simulation. Yes, but I'm gonna the simulation. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna click into my files. I'm gonna look at version history, and I'm gonna find some corn dog related materials. I mean, <laughs> but here's why they won't give us that, right? Here's why they'll never let us go back in time whenever we want or quick save because then everything would always be chaotic because people would be always constantly be quick saving and you'd just be living in people's quick saves right like, so it would just turn into fucking grand theft auto irl we'd all just be killing prostitutes in the back of cars just i mean i wouldn't but i know how the world works i, yeah. I saw january 6th i know who's out there <laughs> <laughs> Just redo that over and over again. <laughs> yeah, How can I mean, we fix this so that doesn't happen? Uh, no, the purge. Every time. I mean, every day would just be the purge, and you would have to hope you had a good save file like backed up. Yeah, that might be the problem with that is that it's just 
nobody, if they knew that they could resave and redo, it's just no accountability. Well, then at that point, too, I feel like we suddenly become separated. At that point, we really are non-player characters in each other's version of reality. Yeah, it's just it's because, your life. Because I'm you're just sitting, living in it. Yeah, at that point, you're yeah. just you're just sculpting things. Mm-hmm. One little quick save, who, pocket at a who time. Would be in, who, but who would be yeah, who's in, in charge, charge of it? I guess whoever is now, right? Like whoever turned on the Xbox out there. Or whoever turned on the Xbox out there, out there, out there, out however many layers deep we are. I start thinking... Well, because I, I, and again, I started thinking about this and yeah. I was like, maybe it's like, um, you know how, uh, we got COVID, right? So sure. you're like, yeah, we yeah, got to yeah. work on a vaccine. So they start yeah. shooting in these, uh, all this stuff, trying to get a, a, a vaccine for COVID. And they, I mean, and they got it within yeah. like, it wasn't, and it wasn't very long that they uh-huh. were able to do it. It's crazy. And they did that. What if we are like. Uh, the simulation uh-huh. where they put us, uh, we are the trying to figure out the vaccine, how to fix some shit. So oh, so they, they, us. they've got those diseases and they put it into our simulation. Diseases, to... or maybe they're trying to figure out, maybe we fuck it up really bad in the future. So they're like, how do we undo that? How so do we simulate? How do we unfuck this? Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I think that's really cool. I actually think us being code makes tons of sense. I think even... Let me throw this at you. COVID, right? Let's take that for example. So when you're in a video game, you don't see everything. You just see what your character sees. So anything that's outside of the field of vision isn't rendered. And so as you move, depending on the processing power, you see more rendering. If this is a simulation, it has to render every single thing that each of us is viewing. So if they needed to update the simulation... Wouldn't they do it in a way where they could limit the amount of things they had to render from different points of view? Maybe that's that. I mean, that's I know, like, see, yeah, maybe I that's know that why... detaches us from our humanity, right? That makes us look at epidemics that killed millions of people in a way that's non-human. It makes it look look at it as, as a functional thing. But within the theory, potentially, it's deleting old code and it's creating new code to and keep us. Maybe running. that's why our technology is going so quick. In the past, whatever, because we hit a deal and they're like, "Okay, let's reset that or whatever." And maybe I'm not even remembering that. Maybe I well, don't even freaking remember. Well, and, and they're resetting it from and, that. And point. how would we know? We could have. Yeah. We might have just got turned on right now. The first, I'm turned on. I'm always a little turned on. I've just, got a boner I mean, right are, here. Yeah, that's why we have this ledge here is because we both have small enough wieners to not hit the ledge, but it also hides them yeah. well, from any I, poor, I don't even need this ledge to hide my That's a great point. Boner. I don't either. I, literally, yeah. my stomach can just hide what... It, mm-hmm. it just pops up into the little flap. I'm just kidding. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh fuck! What were we talking about? Oh, about it resetting. Oh yeah, like literally the the twenty eight minutes before this, uh, give or take, because I know I'm gonna edit some stuff. But like, you don't know that you actually listened to that. As far as you know, the thing started right now, and we never even said these things that we're listening to. We don't know. There's no way you could ever know. Why would you simulate though, me having a corn dog? Or mm-hmm. wanting a corn dog. I mean, because that's Why just... would that be a thing you would simulate? So, here's here's another thing I like to think sometimes. The Matrix. You've not seen it. I've not seen it. But they're plugging us in. And, you know, in that... In their real, in theirs, the simulation is to keep you satisfied while your body is used as a battery to create function for the robots to run the world. So humans are strapped to it and their batteries... To charge the robots. That's not a spoiler, really, outside of from the first 30 minutes. So we're still going to watch it. But that's what that's what they're doing. So potentially, maybe these little things are another function that we don't realize. Like, what we see is actually doing something more. So, like, say I'm sorting through Pokemon cards. And I'm picking out the rares. I'm picking out the things. That's how I'm seeing the Pokemon cards, but how do I know I'm not just a function in a computer sorting data packets a millisecond at a time, helping solve a much larger equation? Ooh, like severance, kind of maybe. Yeah, and maybe it gets severance down to, deal. Maybe it gets down to a fucking molecular level. Like maybe every little thing we move around is part of this huge experimental algorithm that's just pushing numbers and beats, and maybe we're just a piece of a calculator. I mean, 
Yeah, it's got to be for a reason. For a grand scale. I think there has to be a reason. It can't be just entertainment. I mean... I wouldn't assume. It does make great entertainment. Don't get I me guess, wrong. Yes, but what are you watching? Unless it is just a... I mean... I'm, you, you, uh, it's my world and you're in it thing. Like True, you true, saying. true. But I don't know. Maybe... Yeah, no, I, you're right. Yeah, I mean, there's got to be a point. There's got to be a grander purpose. And I, I agree. I think you're right that maybe we're just being run to solve problems we're solving it's like that one uh that one uh black mirror right right the one that uh, or, the most when the recent ones we have where they switch the faces yeah uh, or, or they uh where uh Selma hayek is that There's one a, that one and it's like the oh, one the where video they were the game re- one or the relationship oh. one they're all of they, them all black where they're, they're in they're in the re- they're in the dating app and it's running the algorithms of all the different oh, ways oh yeah, yeah 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 like, it's kind of like that, too. Yeah. It's just like, boom, here's a million different ways everything could happen. And as far as we know, this is just moving at our normal pace. But as far as out there goes, it could have just went boom, and we're just doing a little, a million little microtransactions to give them their final answer. This is hurting my head. I Matt. mean, I just, when I think about it, no, the more I think about this, <laughs> the more it makes me think that, like, because I didn't. I didn't believe in it at all. Yeah, I was like, it doesn't make believe in it, but I'm willing to, you know, th- like yeah, I'm not. The thoughts you you like to have some fun. The more it makes me think that, like, uh, like, uh, like Christianity type, which I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a Christian yeah. at all or whatever, th- like that's almost believable. Well, I mean, to some extent, right? Like, Cause because it's kind of the same deal. Almost. Well, and and because I mean, I know that like. The Matrix is pulling from the Christian myth and also from a millions of other religious myths. But there's a reason all these myths are the same, too, right? Yeah, like, they're, they're, they answer not... questions we can't answer, yeah, I but, assume. But we but. also, we didn't have world travel back in the day, and yet the hero has a thousand faces, like like they say. Joseph Campbell. Like, Neo is just a Jesus figure here. So for us, Jesus is just Neo. Like, how how do we know he's not someone within this simulation that was granted greater power? He was given abilities that he couldn't do. Walking on water, to me, that sounds like someone who has a little bit of ability to go around and alter the code of things. Turning water into wine? He simply was one of the creators fucking around, putting on the headset, and here we go. And I think that that could be the way it was for all of them could be you know any of these people with religions buddha and muhammad like they were maybe they were the outside the simulation and they came in and they played god for a while yeah are they referring to the people outside of the and and deal as that i mean look at look at egyptians even the egyptian gods you're like it's like oh why did they have all these gods with fucking bird heads or whatever and then i get on fucking Fortnite and naruto and master chief and fucking rick sanchez and a giant fucking guy with a bird head are all running around with rifles and it's like i don't know maybe it was just avatars of people playing the simulation on an early run who are we to tell maybe this is just roy the game from that episode of rick and morty and we're just gonna pop right out and be in the arcade and be our normal selves outside of this yeah, I guess. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't think we'll be our normal selves outside of this. I'm not my normal self right now. Yeah. That Nick, I, I, like the that Nick guy, that Nick, uh, what's his name? Nick, Nick Sanchez. Uh, no, it was Nick Bostrom. Bostrom. His whole deal, I think, is he had like, he had like three things as far as simulation goes. Yeah. He had like three deals that had to be true. Okay. Uh, uh, one of them had to be true, mm-hmm. which, like, the f- first one was that uh, we are um, we are not going to we're going to destroy ourselves before we get to the point where we can make uh, a AI simulation that can yeah it's basically make itself a race to the apocalypse or the singularity right. Or the second one was we would do it and we would get uh, we'd get bored with it or we just wouldn't care about it anymore enough to make it. Yeah, yeah. Or we're in a simulation. We are simulations. Yeah, because eventually we're going to have the technology to make the simulation. So right. we're either in it, and if we do or... have it, we'd be in it at this moment. Right, because 
once we have that technology, the possibility of us being in the real reality drops to near probability of zero. Like, it less than winning the lottery and getting struck by lightning at the same time. Which hurts my head. Yeah, it's very depressing to hear that, like, idea. But also, to some extent, it's freeing, right? Like, at this point, if nothing really matters... Nothing really matters. Then let's just have fun with what they gave us. Like let's just enjoy this shit, right? I, I, I'll be the guy. I, I ain't. I'll be the guy that's just like, oh well, nothing matters. But Wagyu steak tastes like, mm mm mm. Like I, nothing matters. But my vape pen's hitting. Nothing matters. But this diet coke, delicious. They'll never sponsor anything I do. But thank you. Yeah, but these these are all in the moment things though too. And maybe that's how we should live. I guess. I guess so, but the, old, <laughs> the older I get, the more I can't. Yeah, you got to plan. I can't remember right? shit though. Yeah, from that's back. true. I have trouble. I yeah. I don't remember any except for like certain things that are like definitely yeah. in my head. Sure, like that fucking possum. Oh yeah, or the uh, yeah, fucking I goats, love the pop- or whatever the hell. Yeah. Those things many, stick in my head. <laughs> many, many Those things animals. stick in my head. But everything else is just kind of fuzzy. Yeah, like even you know before, some recent stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I get that. I mean, for me, a lot of recent stuff's fuzzy. I know a lot of that's alcohol related, but like, also like, oh yeah, for sure. It means you you can't keep everything. How many singular days can you remember? You can't. There's just not storage. And yeah. maybe there's maybe and maybe we just weren't. They're just resetting you. And maybe we just weren't given I'm a reset. storage. I'm resetting. I didn't. I think we just weren't given enough storage, and so they keep us to where they can, they can. I think I'm going to talk a little bit more about how much memories are fucked up when we get to Mandela Effect. I'm not going to jump into Mandela Effect yet, but I think that has I think that will tie into this when we do that. But while we're here, I I am worried. Okay. If everything's fake, if I'm fake, I'm fine with it. But I need to know how do we find out? You always have the experts. You always know oh, know yeah. the little secrets. I actually, now that you say that, man, okay. you're saying that. Uh huh. Um, I actually I came up with a test. Okay. So to see, I got Harrison Ford over here. If you're an AI or not. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. So you, you, I, um, so I got this. I was watching an old TV show. Okay. Okay. Old TV and I, show. And I, you... and I was like, that's it. That's the answer to okay. if we're freaking a <laughs> simulation. I, I have ideas where this is going, but I'm excited to see that I will probably be very wrong. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, I've, I've got a few questions here. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Matt. Yes. First question. Question one. To see if you are indeed an AI. Okay. To see if this intelligence if you is You are artificial. simulation ready. Okay. I'm ready. ready. Let's go. Okay. First question. Question one. Have you ever had any? Have you ever had anything stick to you? Oh yeah, like a, like a magnet <laughs> stick to you. I mean, I've had things that stuck to me like a magnet for sure. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. my my shirt getting sweaty sticks to me like a magnet. I'm sweating right now. I probably should have picked Ooh, a better sticking. color. Yeah, uh, sticking to you. most foods stick to me. Um, literally, my own body sticks to me all the time. So yeah, I'd say I'm a sticky guy. <laughs> I'd say I'm a pretty st- interesting, pretty sticky guy. Interesting. Beyond magnets, though, I do sometimes even like I feel like I can hear like if a TV's on in the other room and I'm not in the room, or sometimes I feel like I'm I it, now the light. I don't care is, about okay, that. Okay, that's not uh, that's not AI. That's not part of the question. Okay, that's not AI. That's not a question I came okay, up with. That's not AI. Uh, <laughs> question two. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever had a magnet uh-huh. erase your memory? Ooh. So, I, as far as I'm aware, only the one time I did have a pretty big magnet that fell onto one of my computers that did fuck the hard drive up. But other than that, I don't think so. Your memory. Oh, like, That's good enough. like the one in my head? You know what? It's good enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Question okay. three. Okay, okay. Question three. Okay. Ready? So far, you're doing Hold great. On. You're Hold doing what, great, what Matt. What is the show that you got this from, by the way? I just need to know. <laughs> you're asking a lot of magnet-related questions. It's a, yeah, it was Super Friends. 
Another <laughs> 70s reference. I had, okay. a, I had a list in my head, and Super Friends was not on okay. it. I, okay, let's do the next question. <laughs> Have you ever forgotten something or remember something incorrectly? Oh, fuck yeah. yeah all the time. Were you by, like, a refrigerator where there may have been magnets? Do you got any magnets around here? I... <laughs> I, uh, I've forgotten tons of stuff in yeah. this room, let mm-hmm. alone everywhere else. But yeah, sure. You wouldn't even known I, if you had, huh? Yeah. No, mm, I mean, interesting. of course I couldn't know, right? Yeah. But I will say mm-hmm. that uh, I have definitely forgotten things near the refrigerator before. That's, that is a true Ooh. fact. Okay, but what... <laughs> is this a quiz that they this had is, on the show? Uh, this is... Uh, I came up with this quiz okay. myself okay. from... From watching the show, you yes. wrote these questions. Yep. Okay. Okay. Question number four. Four. Uh, what's your favorite number? Favorite two numbers. My f- two favorite numbers? Two favorite numbers. <sighs> two favorite numbers. Uh, I've always been por- partial to the number four for Four Horsemen or four NWO. Four Horsemen. Four Life. Four um, Life. That's one number. I do like, uh, I think well, 13's a good number. Okay, what about, let's say, like, your what's your favorite, favorite. Uh, two nam- uh, favorite two numbers between, like, uh, zero oh, wait. and before you two. limit me, uh, four and twenty were my favorite numbers. I just figured it out. Between, oh, four twenty. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. I get Between it. zero and two, like the blackbirds. Uh huh. Yeah, totally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so uh, zero between zero and two. Yeah. Are your Do favorite zero two and numbers two count? In like, okay. Between zero and one. Oh, between. What are zero- your favorite two? No, it, uh, are, point, are, is it one and zero? Point six is it one nine, and zero? Four, two, zero? That's what I thought. Four, okay. Point four two. Next question. Zero, six, question five. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Question five. It's one and zero. I'll just mark that. I need a pen. I'll just mark that down as. Can I borrow your pen for a second? Yeah. Let's, okay, because I got to mark. Oh, that's that's a, a vape pen. <laughs> okay, that's my, that's my. That's exactly what I'm marking. Okay, one and zero. One got and it. One zero. Uh, uh, yeah. And number zero's five. Not a number. number five. It's not. A Have number. you ever said the phrase? Hold on. What happened in this episode of Super Friends? What happened? Yeah, because oh, I'm, I'm just these, there's a lot well, of, a lot of magnet questions. Uh, I'm just okay. Curious. Well, in this, uh, there was a giant magnet. robot uh-huh. who was on his own, alive robot, uh-huh. and then uh, like Met- Met- Batman, Metalo? Batman and Robin were there, and then yeah. Robin was like, "Hey, Batman, uh-huh. I got an idea." I think it was Robin who came up with the idea, not Batman. And he's like. I'm gonna use a bat magnet. Holy artificial and throw it on the Batman, the robot, and then it, <laughs> then it really fucked up the robot. He went, uh, yeah, and he forgot everything. He erased his memory. Well, honestly, I'm gonna say that I feel like this is probably one of the truest tests on AI that anyone has ever developed. So yep. I am back in. If Batman approves, I approve. Let's finish this bitch. Have you ever said the phrase? Uh huh. I need to take a nap and reset. Definitely, I love corny ass phrases like that yeah i for sure said yeah you have about to hit mm-hmm. the hay yep. you'll take a nap and reset can i borrow that vape pen again uh-huh. okay write that down. thank write that you down. thank you Woo. okay yep. got yep. it yep. yep okay have you ever said the phrase get that magnet away from me it might erase my brain i can't def- i cannot definitively say no I don't know for sure that I, I I don't remember saying it, but that seems like something you would say right before you lost your memory. It does. This is this thing's working. How do you feel about swimming? I'm better at floating, um, but I don't I don't mind it as much as you would expect a robot to mind it. Are you saying you're a robot? I'm saying if I was a robot, it okay. would be peculiar sure. that I liked swimming as much as I do. Okay. I'm saying I'm slightly convinced I could be an AI. I like because I, I I don't like magnets, man. The final question. Yeah. The final question. Many. Are you an AI simulation? I think I might be. Yeah. You have to tell me. Like I, if you are. I, you have to tell the truth. I like with cops. So but they have to tell you the truth. I, I'm assuming, like, with an artificial intelligence, we don't know everything still. So I'm going to say I think so. I think I might be an artificial intelligence. Woo! Quiz. I, th- I think I might have. I might have been Prove found it. out. I think I might have been found. I think. I'm just, man, right now I'm just gonna tell you this. Yeah. I it, it. 
I wasn't sure about the quiz at the beginning, uh-huh. but now I think you've uh, I think it's proven. proven. Uh, I think it's proven. My hypothesis of the quiz proving AI. You're yeah, welcome. I mean, uh, according to this, you're a goddamn AI. I'm a robot. You're a fucking simulation. I can't believe it. I, I've been Woo! I've been simulated. Well, you're welcome, uh, folks. I, we may not have gotten to the bottom of reality, but we certainly got to the bottom of mine. Uh, I am an AI. Uh, which makes tons of sense. It makes, honestly, it makes me feel better. Mm-hmm. Uh, it makes me feel better about having been so much better than everyone else at what I do for so long. I mean, man, it's incredible. Like, now that I know I'm a robot, it makes sense that I'm so perfect. Like, look how handsome I am. That's not normal. Someone had to program this. Let me get a fucking there, magnet. There is, there is no way. <laughs> Guys, thank you for hanging out with us again, talking about simulation theory. Uh, we're probably going to do a lighter one after this episode, and then we'll probably dive right back into the deep end. Uh, potentially, I might give Paul a break and give him two weeks to, oh, my to head's process. Tr- hey, do you think that movie Freaky Friday is... AI? Is that AI simulation? I mean, if Lindsay Lohan isn't an AI simulation... Well, no, simulation, no, not that one. Like, oh. the rich... And Paul. The one I... I've not seen the one you've seen. That mom was hot. I know it existed. Then, oh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's okay, they're gonna make another one, and people are gonna say, Lindsay who? And I'm gonna go, oh, man... She's, she was the millennial Molly Ringwald, if that tells anything about my generation. <laughs> Guys, thanks for listening to the Bottom Boys podcast. Bottom Boys! Bottom boys. Oh! Uh, yeah, we're going to come back again next week. Follow us on TikTok, YouTube, whatever. Hit us up. Yo, yo, leave a rating. Love us. Please, for the love of God, my parents. Love now. me. Auction Club. Bottom Boys. Bottom Boys. Ow! Ow!